<laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode 35. It's time to attack. Let's see if we can make the money we need to make. 6,000 prestige to find. Lots of Russians to uh, extract it from. No, it's funny. I was just thinking about encirclements, but like every every city tile is a supply tile, so you actually can't encircle anything. Of course I would just kill it. Nice. I guess it's time to start feeding the flame tank. Choo choo. All right, if this cavalry charges at me, it's going to find a wall of tank. And if this tank charges at me, this artillery will provide counter battery that I require. Okay, nice. See what surrenders I can get out of the enemy. Right, now this group really just needs to sort of push here and wait for this group to swing in, clean up and come down. Okay, I have to wait for the enemy air force to attack whatever air force they've got. That way I can counterman them. I suppose there's no real harm in me doing that and also providing an escort. You know, if there are enemies at this airport, I could just dive in there. Best way to scout an airport, put a unit somewhere where the airport is not, like it's not possible to have a plane, then creep into it like this. This way this fighter is actually providing escort now for my scout. That 
about to. Anything else I want to do? Sure. Can provide an escort for that too. All right, come at me. Ooh. Although even with double support, that didn't really help that much. Nice. Yeah, that's really minor damage. Yeah, it's also quite minor. All oh, right, I'm seeing an opportunity here to s to rip some aircraft out of the sky. Shoot him. Okay, good. So yeah, this is right on the edge of my operational range, so I actually want to eliminate these ones up here first. Whereas these ones are not, they're like right next to my airport, so I can get them next turn. But as this, as this front pushes forward, they're going to be out of fighter support. Okay, that's them. Gone. Might as well, right? I guess no matter what I do, I'm going to take some damage. Hmm, can't penetrate. Let's just take our time for now, shall we? This is the thrust of the push, here and down. These guys just really need to sort of park here and be annoying. Maybe getting this airport would be great, because then I can rebase there. Take it. Surrender! Nice. A little bit of extra prestige. Got him. 
deploy there. Okay, there's some cavalry up here. Could be a load of stuff behind it. This tank is actually really hard to kill in the open, so I think it'd be okay. I'll just move the recon car back. Let's move this recon car here and move this here because the flame tank is much better in that situation. It doesn't look like there's any enemies around here. So, at the risk of being counterattacked, let's just get rid of that. very tempted to use these. In fact, I'm going to. They've thrown their aircraft at us. We know what they've got. Oh, it's going down there. They're down there. Ah, he didn't attack. Ouch. But I'll have my revenge next turn. Okay. That attack was mostly blocked. Can't quite reach it. We're going down. Nice. I think they've thrown away their air force already. This airport here has probably got more, but their operational range is like around here probably. Maybe this airport down here has also got some aircraft. But we've cleaned out that one and we've cleaned out this one, so unless there's some rebasing going on, that is them done. See if we can send in the surrender tank and make them surrender. Nice! Every precious bit of prestige. It drives us. What's here? Can I do a flyby? Nice flyby. Yes. The purifying flame tank. May it take... May it take everything from them. Oh, 
Okay. I didn't actually mean to attack that yet. I want to push across here first and then down. Remember, this is an anti-tank, so it can only move one space. I think next turn I can uh, suppress this and then poke it with my steel, with my, my theft tank. Right, can you scout for me? Whoa. Alright, infantry and pillboxes. All the good stuff. Okay, with the enemy air force in the ground. Time to push forward. Man, what a good sub this is already. This team here, well defended, and this team here ready to slice in. We're only on the third turn. And I think I've already put their air force in the ground, which is amazing. Oh, no, not quite. But don't worry, I'll have you. <laughs> the recon car attacked because it's got no ammo. So he was like, oh, look, free damage. But the flame tank has the special... The flame tank has the special you cannot access the uh, close defense. If I hit him for four, will he run? Let's do it. I want that money. Retreat. Yes! Retreat means surrender. Thanks for the cash. Oh, barbecue tank, go. These guys could actually attack me here, but they would certainly pay for it. These are open tiles. I don't want to put a unit here because it's a close tile and infantry attacking into a close tile, that would hurt. But infantry attacking into this tile, which is technically an open tile, that would ruin them. Alright, scout for me. Oh! Good thing I didn't overclick my scouting there, Jesus. There's one right there. They might rush forward and attack that tank, actually. 
and that might actually hurt. But, you know, such is... Nice. I'm not interested in capturing with this squad. I know there's some convoluted uh, enveloping I could probably get away with here, but... For me, that is not the point. This point, this squad is just here to hold out while this group cleans and take as little damage as possible. Because if I end up spending 10,000 prestige on German victory, then I am going to need a lot of prestige to repair afterwards. The fact that this unit is down to uh, 9 health is bad. I don't know if the enemy's got any more aircraft, but if they've got aircraft they're probably here and I'm just concerned. I suppose we've got a fire here, so... Well, it looks like we have hit the trench wars here, because they've got a wall of artillery. It's fine. Nice. Do you know what? Hurting the old theft tank might actually help me. <laughs> it might help me obtain more prestige. Okay, it's gonna rain next turn. Something, something, Spain, something gently in the rain. these guys back. Because I certainly can't afford to repair them. Okay, front line re-established. That's fine.
Maybe next turn I'll start pushing in? I don't know, actually. Cloudy today, rainy tomorrow. Nice. Although I didn't really get much money out of that, but still nice. There's a dude there, isn't there? The airport is an open tile, so no access to my close defense there. I'll burninate them next turn, and then I'll come down here and burninate all of them too. Okay, I think in the next three or four turns we're going to sweep through the tractor factory and then down through Red October and then I'm just going to be like here. And that's when I'm going to have these guys in a giant pain sandwich. But we have a long way to go. Boys, I better get over there and provide escort. Three range, fifteen millimeter guns. I can't advance this line because I'd just be caught in this artillery trap. Bombing and sniping at the enemy is okay, but I have to wait until the uh, the upper group turns in and comes down. I could push this if this gun was available down here, this one. If I move this artillery down here, because it's got it's got massive anti-artillery counter-battery range, that's the one that I need to bring down here to actually uh, make this push a reality. But that's okay. The recon cars. I mean, these guys are out in the open and they can't entrench well. The recon cars will be able to get snipes off. Oof. Okay. Ah, run away. Oh. Thought the game crashed for a second there. Oh, I forgot all about this. 
So, of course, it's raining, which means I can't do anything about this moron. The last thing I want to do is take four casualties on my flame tank. This tank could come up to assist if these guys were not in the way. So let's make that a thing that happens. God damn it, they've got just enough health to not be rolled over. Oh, and then they ran. Ugh. Okay, one thing is, it's raining. And that means they won't be able to see. So if I just back away and he runs into me, it will be an ambush and it will be horrible for him. I'd love to press the attack here, but it's a bad idea. Oof. Enemy move forward. Well, that was dumb. I have an opportunity to steal some prestige here. Yes! I've got six of them. Ironically, this tank getting weaker is actually really helping me.
Okay. Nice. Do you know what? This is all this is all actually quite nice. I mean yeah, the damage on the recon cars is not nice. Uh, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna win the day I can't afford to actually reinforce them. But that's okay, because uh, the flame tank is getting up to heat, as it were. It's getting up to temperature. Yeah, I think next turn we can just move in. I'll move this tank here because the infantry cannot attack it while it's in an open tile like that. The damage on the recon cars... It would have been nice to avoid that, but... It, you know, what's done is done. Kind of weird that some enemies here just decided to throw their lives away, but okay. If it's death they want, it's death they'll get. I think this will be the last turn that I just casually bomb this area. I'm going to rebase my aircraft here and start attacking this lineup directly. Although, it seems a little too good to be true that the artillery is just lined up and completely undefended. Maybe they're in operational range of that airbase. Maybe they've got anti-aircraft guns. Oh. Well, there's an anti-aircraft gun, so that answers that question. You might as well just sit out. Oh, they ran out. That was dumb. There's there was no actual way for them to do any damage to that tank. Now the power of the flame grows. Should just move this. Yeah, I think I should. Ah, 
I can totally murder these very easily. That's no, they're of, they're of no threat to me. The flame tank could barbecue them in a heartbeat. But, we're here for the prestige. We can't forget the prestige objective. And that means next turn that we bomb this anti-aircraft gun so it's totally suppressed and then tap it with the the theft tank. There is a risk that it converts to anti-tank mode actually. I've never seen the AI do it though. I've never seen the AI actually convert to anti-tank mode, so... Maybe I'm just... Overthinking. See ya. Anti-tank mode, engage. Okay. I guess we've got another four or five turns until we're ready to begin the push down. The flame tank is gaining power. Plus 15 attack already. It won't be long until it is a literal wrecking ball running down the map, destroying everything it touches. Oh, counter battery. Nice. The artillery attacked, but the infantry could not attack that tank in the open and, and achieve anything. Man, 43 minutes already. 43 minutes already. Okay. That's it for now. I think we're on course to getting the money. We've got the bonus objectives to do as well. We're nine turns in. And I think this whole area is getting ready to collapse. Who knows what they've got down here. We may have to start pushing hard for it. But for now, I think we're in a good position. So, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.